Hi friends. This week I was thinking about kindness. I read an article about how now we live in a world where we don't know our neighbors, where if we have a bountiful harvest in our garden, we're not taking it next door to share with those people. We may not even know the names of the people that live across the street. Maybe we know their dogs, but that's about it, that we've lost this connection with the people that we live near. And part of the reason is because it used to be we would just wander next door, knock on the door, say hello. If we had baked something, we would share it. But that now those kinds of interactions are viewed as interruptions. Well, I wouldn't want to bother them, so I'm not going to stop. I, I don't want to interrupt what they might be doing. And let's face it, there's times when I've been at home and the doorbell rings and I'm like, oh, who is that? right? Who could that be? Thinking about how we have lost some of that connection. And I was reading this poem that popped up, some thoughts on small kindnesses that I just thought was really lovely and thought I'd share it with you today. Small Kindnesses by Danusha Lamaris. I've been thinking about the way when you walk down a crowded aisle, people pull in their legs to let you by or how strangers still say bless you when someone sneezes, a leftover from the bubonic plague. Don't die, we are saying. And sometimes when you spill lemons from your grocery bag, someone else will help you pick them up. Mostly we don't want to harm one another. We want to be handed our cup of coffee hot and to say thank you to the person handing it, to smile at them and for them to smile back for the waitress to call us honey when she sets down the bowl of clam chowder, and for the driver in the red pickup truck to let us pass. We have so little of each other now, so far from tribe and fire, only these brief moments of exchange. What if they are the true dwelling of the holy, these fleeting temples we make together when we say here, have my seat. Go ahead, you first. I like your hat. I love that. I love those simple kindnesses. You know those interactions with strangers when you walk away and you just feel good just from being in the presence of someone for a short time. That is the dwelling of the Holy One in those sweet, simple, holy moments, those simple kindnesses. And the beauty of it, it's something that we can all do. So whether it's something as sharing that bountiful tomato harvest if the deer have not been coming through your yard, or something as simple as letting someone pass by pulling your legs in so it's easier for them to get by, sharing a kindness. I like your hat. Something we can all do this week. Be kind, my friends.